everyone! Welcome to my brand new bookshelf. How exciting! It has a really ugly sticker up here, which I'm really annoyed about, but <laughs> we'll cover that up. This is the, I think it's called the Billy bookshelf from Ikea, and it has just three little shelves, this one down here too, and I am going to set it up. <laughs> I don't have that many books. The kind of army books that I want to put in it are these ones <laughs> and my Warrior Cat series. For now, oh, my tag's out. Oh. But yeah, I'm very happy with how this bookshelf looks and how it kind of came together. There's actually a lot of space but it doesn't take up too much room in my room. I just wanted like a little bookshelf that was a little bit more of a decorative piece and just a piece that can make me happy to look at and will hold all of my novels. I have another bookshelf in my lounge room that is a lot bigger and that's more for like coffee table books and just pretty books to display to everyone. I feel like this is more of my, gonna be more of my personal collection and we're going to fill it up <laughs> as I continue to read more books and buy more books then I'm very very excited so first things first I'm gonna go through and put my books in I think I want to do it by color I think um, this is gonna be more of an aesthetic <laughs> kind of looking shelf rather than any kind of actual organization I'm very sorry to the librarians who will hate to hear that <laughs> I have these ones which are kind of white and red and like mostly white and then this one's like red and black so I was kind of gonna do a little bit of something with these ones I think and kind of sort out the look that I want and this is like for now this sounds so sad this is like the bulk of my books for now so <laughs> Ah, <laughs> it feels so embarrassing to say that, that I'm on booktube and I own like no books. Oh, she's a minimalist. Mm. For now, I want to get more books. But yeah, I think I'm going to put these on the top shelf because I want to be able to look at them. <laughs> That's the main thing. Now on the other side, I was thinking I might try to cover up this sticker because I could not get it off for the life of me. So I thought maybe I'll put like a print in front of it or something. I have this really cute print. Um, I'll link <laughs> I'll link the artist down below. This is a very old print from um, oh my gosh, her name's Stephanie. She's incredible. I will put her links and stuff down below but I have a lot of her artwork <laughs> on my walls and things and this is a very old print that I never put into a frame it was like an extra that she threw in but I just think it's so cute and I'm thinking of going for more of like a game setup up the top here like very fun and like cartoony um, for this little shelf because I've got some plans I'll show you <laughs> But yeah, I think I'll use this one to cover up that ugly sticker for now. I'll probably put more on, I just don't know, I don't know what to do yet. As I said, we'll, we'll figure it out as we go. So then, I was thinking about putting the Final Empire in like facing out because this is just such a pretty book <laughs> and I can't stand to have it tucked away somewhere and I also have the female of the species which I'm currently reading but I wanted to show where I would put it in the bookshelf and because I don't have I don't have many other like brightly colored books obviously as you can see so I don't want to put them with those colors so I think I'll just kind of pop it in the corner here and then have 
the final empire sit out like that. I know you can't really see the print of the bag now, but... <laughs> I still- I don't know, she's still there. <laughs> Covering up that ugly sticker, at least. Now, I found something really fun, which is my old Animal Crossing 3DS. It's really cute, and I like how the buttons look. It's- oh my gosh, it's so cute. <sighs> It's just adorable. This is so old, but I thought it could be kind of cute to have it sitting out here. Like, gamer girl vibes. <laughs> because I also have this little storage box, which is, it has some jewelry in it. But this is an Animal Crossing fossil, which I also thought could be cute in this area. Adding to the gaming and anime theme, I have Sailor Jupiter. Oh, she's so gorgeous. She's so pretty. She was my hero growing up. And of course I have Luna as well. And these didn't really go on my other shelves, but I feel like here they can look perfect. So we have... Um, we pop this in here. Oh, actually, something else Animal Crossing themed. <laughs> this is like a squishy that um, is peach scented, and it's actually from an Animal Crossing like collection box. So this is supposed to be like an Animal Crossing fruit. <laughs> And I just think it's so cute and random, but yeah, I definitely want to have it in here, I think. I'm just going to play around with the setup a little bit, because, I don't know, it's throwing me off right now. I think that's pretty cute. I know I don't have many books, but... <laughs> I think it's a cute little start, and I think it would look cool if I had things on the background, like I might print out some photos of like me and my friends and stuff to put on the back of the bookshelf as well. Just to kind of brighten it up a little bit, because while I like the white aesthetic, I think it'll be fun to add a little bit more color in there too. Now I do also have some plants, don't judge. Lily's looking a bit sad, but that's only because she got crushed. <laughs> She's still alive. I'm going to give her a little bit of a prune, and I might sit her on the top or in the middle as well. Same with this little guy. He's so cute. I love his little pot. But yeah, these plants have been struggling, and I kind of wanted to move them into my room so that I can take a little bit better care of them. <laughs> My poor plant babies. Now of course I do have the complete first series of the Worry Cats. <laughs> the prophecy begins in its entirety, and I think I'm going to put that on the second shelf. You know, pride of place. I'm going to pop it in the middle and then use some stuff to... Use some stuff to keep them up. So I have this little mini Shakespeare box set, which has the complete plays in one sitting, love sonnets, and the bard's guide to abuses and affronts. I just think it's really cute. <laughs> so I might sit this up here too. Help keep up my warrior cats. Yeah, that's kind of cute. I'm going to move you over a little bit. This plant is called James, by the way. <laughs> I also got these super cute little butterfly hair clips. And I just thought they would look really pretty on the shelf. But this plastic thing's a little bit ugly. So I have my nice, clear acrylic 
whatever <laughs> acrylic organizers that everyone was like obsessed with back in the day. So we're gonna fill it with these butterfly clips and then I can have it on display and it'll look really cute. They'll even fit, I think. What a miracle. Look how cute that is. Maybe that can go on the top shelf. Behind Sailor Jupiter. I also have my little bullet journal here which I've decorated with some stickers on the front and I thought that that would make a really cute addition to the bookshelf and it's kind of all the right colors and all the right themes so I might put it here so it feels a little less empty and a little less like stark white. That's fun. I'm liking how this is coming along. I also have my goblet of D&D dice. <laughs> I keep all my really pretty colored dice in here and I think I have like three dice sets just in this one little goblet and I just think it looks so cute and magical so that rests on top of this piece of rose quartz like a little coaster and It just brings me a lot of joy to look at. <laughs> I think it's so cute. So here we go with the final tour. There's Lily. I'm trying to nurse her back to health. But here I just wanted to show off these. These pictures here are kind of like the inspiration for the color palette that I kind of like to go for, considering they're sitting right above the bookshelf. And here is my first shelf, just a couple of books on this side, journal, DS, and some little anime and Animal Crossing figures. And then down here we have another plant, I'm trying to nurse back to health, I've just clipped them back a lot. And the Full Warriors series, some Shakespeare books, candle, my D&D dice, and my cute little hair clips. And then we have the sad, lonely third shelf. This is just a piece of rose quartz that's like a tea light candle holder. It looks very cute lit up, but this lonely shelf <laughs> is definitely gonna need some love. They're all gonna need some love, but looking at these makes me pretty happy for the moment, so yeah. I hope you guys like it. Thank you very, very much for watching me put together my little bookshelf in my room today. Again, I'm embarrassed about how few books I have, but <laughs> I'm very excited that this is like the first time that I'm gonna be doing this and I'm excited to see what it's gonna look like even in just like a year, six months, once I've accumulated more books, once we're out of lockdown and I can buy more books. <laughs> I'm very, very excited. And yeah, it just makes me happy. It's filled with my favorite things, and I think it's going to bring a lot of joy. <laughs> I hope you guys kind of like it. I just was kind of using decorations that I already had around the house. I didn't go out and buy anything specifically for this shelf, apart from my books, I guess. But yeah. <laughs> We will see how it grows and blossoms and hopefully fills with books. Next I'm going to tackle my much bigger bookshelf out in the lounge room and kind of redecorate that and see what we can come up with <laughs> for that kind of style which is not as pink and girly as this one is. <laughs> But thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any decorating shelves, tips and tricks. I don't know. I, I was just going off of what I personally like. So <laughs> maybe next time I'll look at some Pinterest photos or something. But yeah. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Mwah! Lots of love. Bye.